Always do your best. Express your divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express yourself and express your own divinity by being alive and loving yourself and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 181, NASDAQ's down 126, SPs are up two, gold contract down $17.60, trading at 1788 an ounce. We got silver down 70 cents, $23.59 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck 83, $78.58 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down seven ticks, trading 129.24. 30 year off a full point at 159.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 70 ticks, trading 96, 478. Euro's at 112, yen's at 115, and the British pound is trading out at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're at highs. I expect we're going to stay at highs here. You're going to get some volatility. We get Thanksgiving week, no doubt. Uh, we get tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a lot, light, light volume. Thanksgiving's Thursday, of course. Friday, what you're going to have on Friday is that you're going to have on Friday the, um, the half a day on Friday. Okay, that's no good. Strangle me. On Friday, you're going to have the half a day. Uh, and they can push the market no, anywhere they want, folks. That's the bottom line. So in the SPY right now, we have is this, is that uh, you, you're up 27 cents. You get a sideways move. Uh, you're coming into, we had the downdraft that was created out here on November 10th. So you can see November 10th, 69 million shares. The top of that bar is 467.38. Well, we're over that. So what you have out here today is this. It comes into that bar. You're going to have lighter volume. It's going to reject lower price. Yesterday, what we did, you went to higher price, and then you gave it up on price. And you had higher volume. When you go to a higher high and you have volume behind the move, folks, most times you're right back topside. And I expect inside the S&P, more than likely, we'll probably see this hit Friday. Maybe we'll see it hit tomorrow. This is going to go after it, though. NDX 100. Let's look at this, because this is really cool. You don't see a lot of this, and we'll see how, if, how this shakes out, if, in fact, we're going to get this. See, yeah, let me I'm gonna put candles on it. Okay, so what you have here is on, on the, the NDX, folks, is this. Let me do the composite first, actually. Do it this way. Yeah, the composite. Yeah, the composite's set up there, too. So it doesn't matter which one we do. Let's, we'll do the NDX, because you really don't trade the composite. You trade the uh, NDX. So the way the NDX is set up right now, folks, is this. Is that yesterday you had a price move from, uh, I'm just going to do the last three numbers, okay? From 764 to 374, down. Today, we did from 417 to 121. Now, if we get one more of these candles like this, right, that's three black crows, now, the way three black crows work is this. These, these, this. You don't get these a lot, and they're pretty cool to trade, I can tell you that, because this is what you get. If we get three black crows, that, first off, is a, a bearish occurrence, which would totally make sense. I mean, we're, we're, it's about time you have a good correction, okay? It doesn't have to be a big correction, but a correction in general. Now, a three black crow, if that's what we get set up, something you want to wrap your head around is that they love to get tested first. So... I wouldn't be diving in just because you get three black crows. What normally happens is you get three black crows, then they come up and test them again, then the baby falls apart. That's how that, that kind of shakes out when you do have three black crows. Uh, gold contract, gold contract hasn't got down to the lower swing point yet. That lower swing point is open. There's no doubt about that. You know, you're down 1770. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, the top of that swing is uh, 17. 1789, I believe. Right there. Give me that. Yeah, 1789. We get down to 1781 today, or it's 1788.50. It's going to be intriguing to see whether it rejects it. You know, bottom line, it doesn't reject it. We'll see whether it can make it to the lower end of this consolidation. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tommy? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. I know. I can't wait. Uh, telling you. Yep, yeah. I know it. I'm going to make some uh, oyster stuffing. Uh, get fresh oysters up here. It's oh. great. Great stuff. Oh, Bridget would love that. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I saw that 
on, I love that uh, dinner, diner, and something with a guy. That, uh, if you ever watch that show, folks, and <laughs> I love watching <laughs> cooking, cooking shows and real estate shows is all I watch in documentaries. <laughs> There's plenty of those on. There, are, there is. There is. Oyster stuffing. Oh, man, that's going to be good. I love it. Yeah. Hey, change of pace here. Halliburton, H-A-L. Yeah. So th this is, you know, and this is so cool, folks. This is totally counterintuitive, you know, that you have, I don't know, five, six, seven countries that are going to release um, a lot of oil. That being said, guess what? The oil, the oil contract itself, my take wants to go higher also, folks, okay? Halliburton... Um, you know, this, this is a, a decent setup. The, what has happened is this. How this hit on Monday, I, I mean, Friday, is like, okay, man, is that too much volume? But it was coming into its strength. It was coming, oh, that's all right. No, that's all right. What was it? 14 million. Yes, it was. It's 14 million to 14 million. I, I like the setup, Frank. Um, okay. They, because we, it came down where it should have come down to, the volume is a little too tough. That, that's the reality. So what I would do is this. As this starts to move to higher price, you want to see it pick up a bit because it looks to me like it does want to go up to these highs again, the top of the consolidation was that 26, uh, 68 area. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Okay, good. Good, and, I'm in it. <laughs> you know, if, if, you take, if you take a look at this, uh, contract, folks. I mean, that's all you hear over the year all day today is that, you know, it's very unusual when you can get the United States, China, India, all these countries together. Um, and the, the bottom line, uh, they're releasing uh, oil. And guess what? Oil rejects lower price. Oil looks to me like it's going to go all the way back to 83, man. You're at 78. So cooking. Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, man, thank you for sending that over, too, man. I, I sent it to Tommy, too. We're going to do some work on the on all those utilities, Frank. Appreciate it, man. Uh, no problem. I'm continuing to work on it. Thank you. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe yep. one. Have a great Thanksgiving. Stay right there, yep, folks. Come too. back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Come right back. Mm -hmm.